This is how I make a super easy counter cleaner. I ferment lemons in just plain white vinegar. Add a little bit of dishes soap that I use that's clean. I filter it and put it in a upcycled spray bottle. This one's one of my favorites and I do like this product, but it's expensive. And in this economy, who can afford that? So this is how I make my own. So every morning I cut a beautiful juicy lemon and I make myself some lemon water because lemon water is amazing for your health. So then I have all these lemons left over that smell completely amazing. So what do we do with those lemons? We make some hand cleaner or counter cleaner. So I'm gonna just show you how I make counter cleaner. This is what I do with my leftover lemons. I quarter them and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna go ahead while we're here and show you how to make my morning lemon water. Yeah, there's seeds in there, but they always stay in the bottom. I put about six drops of organic monk fruit. But this is how you can do a gentle liver cleanse every single day. And that tastes amazing. So that was bonus points. But let me show you what I'm going to do with these beautiful little things. So you can make hand sanitizer, you can make counter sanitizer and cleaner, but you can also make a conditioner for wooden countertops by adding just a little bit of olive oil. So let me show you what we're gonna do next. So this right here is our finished product. This has been fermenting for about two weeks. And I have a big jar because if we're on a big lemon run, this will fill up super fast. So I just keep it in a big jar just in case. So this is how I finish it. So this is fermented for two weeks and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. But I use a tea strainer, very fine. The reason being is you don't want to plug up your spray bottle. So by getting rid of that little bit of pulp, you have only cleaner in here. Now I do it on a quart mason jar to strain it because this sits on my quart mason jar. So there we go. And honestly, these lemons still smell very fragrant, which means I could keep go going with those. But I'm gonna move that out of our way. So this right here is fully strained and it's ready to make your spray bottle. So all you're gonna do is fill this tooth. If you're gonna do this for windows, I would fill it three fourths full and then finish it with just water nothing else. But if you're gonna use it for countertops, which is what I use it for mainly, and I could have used the funnel, seriously, I could have used the funnel. I'm gonna use all of this. And then the only other thing I'm gonna put in there, so this is three fourths full. The only thing I'm gonna put in there is because I'm gonna use it on wooden countertops, as you can see underneath here. And so I need a tiny bit of oil in there. You can use whatever oil you have. I only use good oil, that's about, a tablespoon, no, I didn't measure it. And then you're going to finish it with a little bit of dishes soap. So yes, I am gonna measure this, because if you do too much of this, all you have are bubbles. And you don't want bubbles, you just want a gentle cleaning. So I know that wasn't perfect angle, and I have bacon in the oven, you wanna come smell it? Yeah, doesn't that look good? Yeah, this is our new video editor, our new videographer, my husband. Rachel's asleep. Doesn't that look amazing? Okay, so we're going to get back over here, turning the oven off. You know, real time. Okay, and then all I do now is finish it with water. And so here we have a gorgeous lemon conditioning, because this is going to be conditioning for my, so if you don't have wood countertops, you don't need that oil in there. Skip the oil. And you can put a, a half a teaspoon or, two, or a full teaspoon of salt, and then that's it. You just have this amazing spray. You could spray this in the air and it would smell amazing. But you just spray, let's see, I wanna catch it. I mean, you can put this on your hands. And if you wanna next level it for hand sanitizer, you would do a lot less vinegar. So you would only do one part vinegar and then you know, put a little oil in for conditioning, and then you can put some essential oils in there like thieves oil or any oil you want, but still start with your lemon base. So let me bring you over to the lemon. This is how easy it is. So when I start a jar, all I do is fill it about a third full with cheap white vinegar. And then this just stays in a dark cabinet with a lid on. Oh, here's my lid. And I keep mine under the sink and my daughters know that when they use a lemon, they quarter it and it goes in the jar and it just sits here and ferments and it waits for me. 
and you can leave it in there as long as you wish. But this is how we make hand sanitizer for our hands, counter cleaner. And if you omit the oil and, and don't put any of soap in there, you've got a window cleaner. So there you go. In this economy, we need to have tips and tricks to help each other out with. And it's funny, this one's lemon flavored, lemon verbena. But that's actually one of my greatest scents, favorite scents. So there we go. Super, super easy peasy lemon squeezy. Literally lemons, the end. Okay, so I wanted to put the recipe for each of these specifically out here at the end for those who stick around at the end of the video. So if you stuck around all the way to the end, give me a thumbs up because I'm gonna do something to reward y'all. I always like to have a little bit of gold at the end for those who stick around. So, um, but I've got a book coming out soon and I think I'm gonna somehow figure out a way to have y'all sign up for a free signed copy of my book. I said, doesn't that sound cheesy? Okay, recipe, that's what this is about. So, and from now on, I'm gonna try and do an outro with a recipe. So if I'm doing something like that, I'll put the words up here, but I'll tell it to you. Okay, so we're gonna do three things here. So we are showing you first how to make a wood cleaner. So for a countertop that is wood or a butcher block that is wood, because I do that all the time, my whole kitchen is that. And if you've seen my videos, you understand. So the wood conditioning one is going to be three quarters of the lemon. Um, vinegar and the lemon vinegar recipe is too easy to tell you but you start with lemons you cover it with white vinegar you ferment for two weeks it you can't under ferment you can over so periodically give that jar a little shimmy if you're not adding anything because you can grow mold on top anything that goes above the um, ferment line can grow mold and it won't ruin it you just have to clean it off so it's kind of a bother so just shimmy it put it in a place where you're going to keep keep on bopping it and that's all you need to do is just shimmy it a little bit okay so the countertop one is i did three quarters of your bottle of your lemon vinegar that has fermented um, and this of course is shelf stable so <laughs> once you take those lemons out and you filter the pulp out this thing will last until you're done with it so um, i don't put salt in mine because salt builds up a little bit of res residue on my wood so the one for wood is three quarters of a bottle of your lemon and I mean, I'm telling you bottle because what, what kind of bottle do you have? Upcycle your bottles, you know? So, and then you're going to add a tablespoon of your seventh generation or whatever clean dishes soap you use. That's what we use because it's cost effective. I buy it in that big container from Walmart. It's the cheapest place I can get it. Okay, and then you're going to, you know, fill it up with water. And that quite literally is it, except for you're going to add your tablespoon roughly of whatever oil you have in your house. We don't have any seed oils, don't have seed oils in your house. If you've been around long enough, you know that I know those are toxic. So I always have um, some olive oil sitting around that hardly gets used. And I put some of that in there. You can go one to two tablespoons, but anytime you use it, make sure you shake it. Um, it does dissolve well in there, but you just want to shake it. And that's it. Fill it up with water and you are good to go for two weeks for free, you know, countertop cleaner that sanitizes and makes your kitchen smell great. And you keep from wasting things that you would normally use. And yes, you can use limes. Okay, so that's the conditioning wood top one. But if you've just got a countertop that's marble or anything like that, you can put your little bit of salt in there, one to two teaspoons. Um, you're still going to use the same amount of dish of soap. This you're gonna use the same amount of vinegar and you're gonna finish it off with um, a little bit of water, no oil. So you don't want any oil unless you're dealing with wood. And then beyond that, you know, you can use basically a homemade Windex with lemon scent. Um, so you're gonna do, you know, your, your vinegar and you can go as full as three-fourths full um, and then finish it with water and that's it. And that will clean your windows um, really great or anything that has a shine to it. Like I, I don't use it on my stainless steel but I think you could, but I don't have a lot of stainless steel. So, all right, and then for a hand sanitizer, you're gonna do way less vinegar. You're only gonna do one part vinegar to three parts water. I put some essential oils in there and I put a more generous amount of either um, the, the um, coconut oil that you can get that's um, the medium chain that's a liquid. I put that in because I make my husband's homemade. And then I always put thieves oil in or some kind of antimicrobial essential oil. I don't buy the fanciest. It, you know, uh, it can get expensive. So in this economy, <laughs> we are not buying Young Living or doTERRA. Actually, I, I love doTERRA and I, I like Young Living too. I just got used to doTERRA because that's what I started with 20 something years ago. So anyway, that's it. And then you can mix it up and make a big batch and then you can refill your little hand sanitizers that I keep in the car. And my husband keeps a big one because he uses this. His has a bit more soap in his, a bit more 
hand sanitizer, like um, hand sanitizer oils, and then he has a, a good bit more oil just to condition his hands because he washes his hands all day long because he does home health. So that's how I do his, and he keeps that big spray bottle in his car, and then he has um, disinfectant wipes that he wipes his hand with, but we don't want him to use that other stuff. That stuff that's a hand sanitizer that you get, you know, the generic kind or the nasty kind, that has um, hormone interrupters and stuff that's really bad for your liver. Okay, well, that is it. Those are the recipes. So if you listen to this audio, you get all of the recipe. No, I don't have it in written form and that would take a good bit of time. So if anybody wants to volunteer to write this up in their spare time and put it in the comments below, I will thank you and I will pin your comment to the top. Bless you, bless you.